Hello and welcome to another video. And I was going to upload a video of how to get the weapon in my hand today, but somebody by the name of Shane Dude One Two Three, he has just shown me this awesome room in this same place as where you get this rifle that's in my hand. Uh, Samson's leather you can get here from uh, Triton's Flats. Uh, you need to go round over here into this square looking room here. So, uh, quick way to get there is if you run straight ahead from the entrance. There's no direct fast travel here, so you do have to come from the uh, flats up onto here. You don't have to come up here, but it's just quicker. Slam down onto here. Jump over here. If you come running around here, there should be a lift that can take you up into this building complex here, which will allow you to get over this bridge towards the secret room. Let's wait for it to come down. There is a pretty cool weapon chest from this, so, uh, and some weird... you'll see. <laughs> Just weird in general. oxygen back. So you come into this weird looking cave here, the ventricles, and there'll be some torques. You run past the torques, just create a little distraction there, and it's quite awkward to get up, I'd say jump onto this little rock here, and it becomes, it's quite awkward to get up there, however you do get the hang of it. Let's call my surveyors back. And then we'll get a fight against a big bunch of armoured enemies. However, that is the cool thing that we'll be interested in. However, we have to wipe out these enemies first. Well, you might not have to, but it'd be easier if you do. So they have really weak shields and they should go down fairly easy if you've got a nice uh, corrosive weapon. This is the laser I got from completing TVHM, so... There we are. Once it's all cleared out, we have this box behind it here, and this giant iridium slab. Walk into it. And that's pretty weird. But there's more. There's another slab. Now I'll take you to this weird crater with a couple of rubbish boxes in. Wow, well, I got 4,000. Tons of money. Another two and another two. Let's open them all, see if anything happens. I don't think so. We only opened the four last time. Let's open these two. Oh, maybe if you open them in order. I shall test this. Oh well, I'm too lazy. Whatever. Uh, so you run into the slab another time. It takes you to a small pink room with a chest and Marcus. Marcus the second and Marcus the fourth. You may recognize these posters from the first Borderlands game in many of the DLCs. And uh, I got complete crap again from this chest, however I can imagine you could probably get some pretty good loot out of this chest as it is a big red one and I have got pretty good loot out of these big red chests before. Get all of them. Run through the slab and you get that. Spooky. Weird bandit sat in a bubble in space. I'm pretty sure we'll get a uh, an explanation of that in DLC or something, hopefully. And uh, yeah, here we are, back at uh, camp. In order to go in again, uh, you have to re-log in the game. However, that is uh, that weird Easter egg inside of the pre-sequel. It's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time.